Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Olivia and I. I'm Shona and this is Olivia and we live up in the northeast of Scotland and this is Olivia's nine month update. Another month just flies in, January just went in a blink and I'm now finished maternity leave, I'm back on Monday to work. Olivia will go to nursery for two days and uh, her grannies will take her another two days as well. So just crazy. It's been an ace. I've loved being off. I've loved being a full-time mom to her. It's just been absolutely brilliant. I will miss her so much. I'm not looking forward to putting her into nursery. I think the first few weeks will be tough. Um, I am really chuffed. Um, I've got my hours cut down, so I'm only doing four days a week now. Um, so I think that'll be better. I'll be able to get an extra day with her, a day to chill out. Um, but it's still going to be tough. I really am going to miss her. Oh, well, I'm going to miss you. She doesn't know what's coming till her. <laughs> so it's all a bit changed, I think, next week. She did go in for a little settling in session last Monday. She was absolutely fine. I sat 10 minutes and then sort of snuck off and she never, not a peep out of her, absolutely fine. So <laughs> fingers crossed she'll be okay the next couple of weeks. So, nine month old Olivia, what have you been up to? Quite a lot actually. <laughs> <coughs> Quite a lot. We, I'll start with sort of development. She has come on leaps and bounds this month. We are now fully standing up. She crawled it, literally she turned eight months and she could proper crawl. Yeah. And then about two weeks later, she was pulling herself up and she was really steady on her feet, holding on. And it was just like, <laughs> where did that come from? I wasn't quite expecting that. You've just mastered crawling. And then another two few weeks passed and she's climbing stairs. She's really, really steady on her feet. She can just about push the baby walker, but I don't think she quite gets it yet. Um, but she wants to be on her feet. If we are holding her and like walking along with her, she's really, really good. So I think we'll be walking before we're one. I, I don't think it'll be quite yet soon, but in the next few couple of months, I think we'll be toddling off. The climbing of the stairs is a bit of a shock. That just seems quite recent. All of a sudden she's taken interest in the stairs and she was going up a couple and I left her to go up a couple watching her and she can go up the whole stairs. So we've ordered stair gates and they've came today and we'll get that ordered. It's just crazy that that scared me a little bit. I was like, oh. She's also started swimming lessons. Um, so she, her swimming is so good. I mean, she, we've only been three or four times and she's just, just a little natural swimmer. She's kicking away without being told. She's gonna go underwater, no problem, not a peep out of her. So really good with that. Got another few weeks of that and then we'll just take her take her when we will when we're off in that at the weekends. She'll obviously be swimming lots on our holiday because we booked our first holiday. We're off to Bulgaria for a week, so that'll be something to look forward to when she's about 15 months. Other development, she's still kind of speaking away. There's no n obvious words. No, you're a walker, not a speaker. But I have no doubt when she does start coming out with a word, she will, won't be able to get her to shut up. Eh. You'd be a big yap. You'd be a big yap. What else in terms of development? That's kind of the main things I can think that off the top of my head. She's just, she's just getting so big. Sleeping is really, really, it's okay. We have sleep trained her now. She's really, really good at going to sleep on her own. Apart from when she's not tired or we maybe just need another 10, 15 minutes playtime to get her to sleep. She's very much, if you can get her down and sh she's tired, if you get that correct moment and she's not overtired, she'll go to sleep no problem in her crib, give her a dummy and her comforter or her clouty as we call it in Scotland, and she sleeps no problem. And I do see a difference of her sleeping through the night. 
Um, she's very much, you know, she'll rouse herself and then go back to sleep no problem. There's no issues there. We're not up loads during the night. Apart from when she's teething, which which is quite a lot for her, obviously for her age, it's quite normal. There's lots of times where you maybe just have to get up and give her a give her a dummy back, but not a huge amount. She has had a wee sort of dry, tickly cough, which has kind of disrupted her sleep a, a wee a bit. Sometimes with more naps than actual bedtime, but she's doing. She is doing really well sleeping and. Very, very rarely does I do I take her into her our bed now, which I was doing quite regularly. She sleeps in her own cot all, most nights, all night. Um, feeding wise, she's doing amazing with her food. She's really advanced for her food, for her feeding. I mean, she could easily eat twelve months plus food. The little portion sizes. I got one of them recently, just as I was looking for something quick to give her for her tea. And she had, she had it no problem. There's, they're really, she's so advanced with her eating. She does really well. Do you? You love your food. She loves your food. You love eating toast and cheese and yogurt. What else? And you've been getting a few little treats like ice cream and a little bit of chocolate. But you don't like your face being cleaned. No, we don't like that. We don't like that. No, you can clap your hands. So you clap your hands. Clap, clap, hands together, clap, clap away. We'll all clap hands together on a rainy day. She can clap her hands. She's kind of waving. It's not, I think she can, but it's, she doesn't want to wave. Um, yeah, so feeding, she's really good at. She's, again, still on her three meals a day. We're kind of up, trying to up our meals a bit. Maybe give her the, uh, a morning and an afternoon snack. We're trying to slowly, slowly cut out her afternoon bottle and we'll just, so she'll just be down to two bottles a day. So yeah, that's kind of everything. We're up to five teeth now. We got five teethies. And I don't think the sixth one is far off. I don't think the sixth one is far off. She brushes her teeth. We've started just doing it at night now. We do it just before bed and then ne as of next week we'll start doing it twice a day. But she's no bother brushing her teeth, really no bother at all. Within a couple of days she was just uh, just doing it no bother. She opened her mouth, she knows what she's doing, she knows it needs to get done. Her hair is coming in slowly, it's still quite sparse but at the front it's really thick. Um, but it's coming in quite blonde so I think it's quite deceiving to see what it is. Um, I don't know her weight or her height. Um, the health visitor won't be back till us, till she's about one, so I, I won't get that checked till then. And she's into nine to twelve clothing, more or less, apart from sleep suits. They're just a wee bit big for her still, so we're just on the cusp of being 100% nine to twelve. And she got some new shoes, like baby walker shoes. Um, our sort of first walkers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. There's nothing really else to tell you. She's just so she's a really content little girl. She's happy being entertained. She has been a bit clingy, like if we walk out the room, she can be very upset and emotional. She's getting a bit of a daddy's girl. Something, if she sees dad, she just wants dad. Yeah, yeah, daddy's girl. I think so. But that's it. That really is all our update for nine months. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. I'll link all our other updates below if you're interested. And if you're new to this channel, I would love you to click subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Say bye.